first in our series of gong comparison videos. Today we'll be comparing an 18 inch Chinese chow gong and a 26 inch Chinese chow gong. I'm going to play them with three different mallets, all of different sizes. Different mallets will make different uh, sounds on, on different gongs. And some things to listen for and think about while I play them are um, do you notice um, any difference in how deep or low the tones are that come from each size? And is there any difference in how long the sound continues? This can be called sustain. So after hitting the gong once, how long it takes for the gong to get quiet again? And also the complexity, how many different kinds of tones you hear after the gong has been hit with the mallet. And finally, uh, this one can be a little bit harder to detect when playing, but generally larger gongs are capable of more volume than smaller gongs. So I'll play each of them with three different mallets and let your ears take over for a, a minute. We'll start with a traditional Chinese mallet. And I'll use this on each of the gongs, starting with the 18-inch chow. Next we'll try with a Peisty M2 mallet. This gong is still ringing and the 18 inch has stopped. So that's one indication of how long the sound keeps going. And for the third mallet, I'll use a much smaller one. This is the Ollie Hess Chakra Mallet. And I'll play once more with the traditional Chinese mallet with a little bit more force to see if we can wake up some more of the uh, different tones that each gong is capable of. Four main things to consider with the comparison of small gongs, like 18 inch gongs and larger ones, in this case 26 inches, are uh, how deep or low the tones are. Larger gongs have lower or deeper tones generally. How long the sound continues after you've hit the gong with the mallet, which is also called sustain, is usually longer with larger gongs. The complexity or how many different tones you hear also usually more with larger gongs, and finally the 
volume. Usually larger gongs are capable of more volume. Smaller gongs are also uh, very portable. This is a, a great point for 18-inch gongs or similar. And also um, easier to transport and, and hold if you're using them in a, a yoga or sound bath situation. I hope this helps you think about the differences in sizes between gongs around the 18-inch size and around the 26-inch size. Thanks.